What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dan Banks, a.k.a. DJ Fine, CEO of JTU, We Are Jersey Magazine, and Jersey Diamonds, and I'm here with the homie, Cash Johnson. What's good, my boy? You already know. Cash Johnson, upcoming artist in the building from Jersey. We're going to get to know him. So my man, Cash, obviously, I'm sure everybody's asked you this question. Your mm -hmm. name, Cash, where does it come from, brother? <laughs> it was actually my mom's name. What camera am I looking into? It, both of them. Uh, yeah. It was actually my mom's name, <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. My mom passed away when I was little and shit, when I was like four. Oh, definitely. Thank you. And um, she was in the streets, so she just gave me her name. So, like, my grandma killed me for saying this, but she used to, like, um, she used to, like, rob banks and shit with, like, fraudulent checks and all yeah. that. That's stories my dad told me. Yeah. So she was always getting money. Whether it was that, or she was real smart. She went to Morehouse, yeah. college and stuff like that. It was about her money, yeah. yeah. She was really about her money, so she gave me her name. So she blessed the son with some with cash. Yeah. Tell him you're gonna be successful and get that cash, definitely. Mm -hmm. So what made you what made you stick to your, your government name? I mean obviously it's your cash obviously from the from the, yeah. from the rip. But what made you stick to that? You know, some people they have like a different yeah. add to the name or different synonym to the name. So what made you stick with cash? I mean I feel like they gave me that name for a reason. So it I didn't been doing them a disjustice if an injustice or how you say if I would have changed my name up. Yeah. So I used to just go by cash, but then me being an artist, I feel like everybody uses that. Yeah. So I just decided to use my full name. I sound like an actor or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Now, yeah. now let's jump into your artist game. So how long have you been doing this for now? About eight years. About eight years. What, what made you continue to stick? That's a that's that's not a that's a big number. Don't don't, don't sleep on the eight. That's a oh, big yeah. number. So you develop your developing phase mm. between them eight years. What's the cash that we see now? So when I first started, we was in a basement. Um, shout out to my boy Gary. I first started, we was in his basement freestyling. I came up under these two dudes named Aramis and Dre. They was in school, we would be freestyling in the hall. I used to see them rapping and shit. So we was at the parties, you know, downstairs in the basement, drinking and smoking. And I used to see them freestyling. They was like, yo, yeah, go get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's really when I started to rap and like freestyle. I was actually, I was battling people in the hallways before that. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But actually like thinking I could rap, I got the confidence from them. And that was probably like, Freshman year, something like that. Definitely. Now, when we were speaking earlier, you was talking about that you don't feel you have a genre. You just kind of just yeah, I go based yeah. off of just yourself and being right how you feeling. So, so what, what what kind of cash do we see now versus the cash that we saw before? Like in the beginning. Yeah. Um, in the beginning, like you know, I would barely make hooks and stuff like that because I, I don't feel like anybody coming rapping and know how to make a hook. Yeah. So like, I was just rapping, making freestyles and stuff like that. Even in the beginning, I would rap about things that I wasn't doing. Yeah, yeah. Either it was getting money or when I first started, I know I made some <laughs> That was getting money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about Lamborghinis and shit. I'm okay. like 15, <laughs> Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then talking about even a shooting or something like that. Yeah. Just regular dumb rap shit. Yeah. And then, you know, as I'm getting older, I know that I have a impact on people and I have a story to tell so I'm like why am I telling somebody else's life when I can tell mine and I know yeah. it's interesting enough so yeah. that's basically what I I want to talk about the sacrifices in the game man <laughs> like I want to talk about the guy I know we're talking about that you know what I'm saying so what is it like for you to go through those sacrifices of um, being an artist in the game upcoming making these moves going to these shows putting your records out pushing it not knowing if it's going to be a hit some are a hit some may not like what is it like for you to just Continue that drive. I mean, like, I look up to Lil Wayne. That's my favorite. That's my favorite rapper. And I, I remember watching interviews. He was always going and always working. You know what I mean? The top performers, Michael Jackson. You look at all of them. None of them had it easy. So, you know, that's what keeps me going. So I'm always putting out music. All my music is tough to me. You know what I'm saying? So I just know if I stick on it. And things are already progressing yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. So things, I always been optimistic about my life. So... That's pretty much it, cause I done seen the worst. Yeah, so like, you know, not you know, it taking a lot a lot more time than it is. It's not the worst that I've seen. That's so, dope. You know what I'm saying? Real humble gentleman, man. Yeah, thanks for cash. It's Cash Johnson in the building. <laughs> Let's talk about this album, man. So yeah, this album's been out for a little bit. When did it drop? May twenty fourth. Man. Yeah. So now, what's the feedback been with this album? Man? They love it, man. They yeah. love it. Um, it's tough. To me, I put a lot of hard work in it. The album is called For Every Night I Was Slept On, because like I said, I've been doing music for a long time, and I feel like people have been sleeping on me in the beginning, and I just put my heart into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to give you different vibes and stuff like that. So I got like some personal songs on there, 
some turn up songs on there, some cool songs yeah. on there, just to show you I can do everything. Yeah. And the Cash Johnson you see in this one is actually telling you a story in yeah. chronological order. Yeah. Now explain to me how you came up with that concept of saying that I this uh, what, like did you know that from the beginning like you know what I'm gonna just put this in chronological order. Nah, like, how I it mean, makes sense like or did it just kind of just flow like this makes sense. So nah. Alright, so I always watch documentaries on the greats and stuff like that. So, like, I just watched the documentary. What's his name? Not Barry Gordy. I'm talking about, um, damn, I can't, I'm trying to think of his name. I can't come to me right now. But, um, so, like, I just looked how, you know, how they made their albums and stuff like that. So, I went back and I listened to some Biggie albums, some Mace albums, and just listened to it. Like, if you listen to it, it's a story. Like, yeah. Ready to Die was a story. So, I just tried to make it, you know, make sense. So, the first song, the album is called For Every Night I Was Slept On. And the first song is called Cold Nights, so it plays on that topic. And I'm just talking about all the hardships that I've been through in my life. Or, you yeah. know, one specific situation and another situation, just the pain. And then the second song, I'm talking about all the struggle and the sacrifices that we were just, you know, talking about that we go through. But it's called leaving. I'm just telling you, like, I'm leaving, like, I'm going. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The third song I got is called Whoa. So it's basically talking about, like, how we're on this path and this journey. And now, you know, people say they're going to be there for you to support you and stuff yeah. like that. And they're not. But you still got to go ahead and do what you're doing. And then the next song is called Rebel My Engine and Go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hop in my car, go where I got to go. To, you know, complete the mission and then the story goes on. That's dope. And what was it like creating that project for you? Because like I said, that, that sounds like you got a lot of personal yeah. in there and, and, and just being able to um, be a part of that story. Like you almost telling your fans, like I want you to visually mm -hmm. and, and also psychologically be at be with me at this stage. Okay. And maybe you could even relate to it. Yeah. So what was it like for you to even make relatable music like that where you were able to get the confidence to say, look, I'm gonna tell you my story and mm -hmm. maybe you can relate to it. Maybe this is what you, will make you want to listen to it even more. I mean, it's not even fully my story. It's bits and pieces. Yeah. And I'll be lying to you if I if I said I sat down in the beginning, was like, oh, I'm gonna make this song first, yeah. this song. So I had a whole bunch of songs already recorded and I was just picking them. Like, you know, I probably had like 50 songs, but let me narrow it down, you know, to, to a good 10 and which songs make sense, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I didn't have the story beforehand, like when I first started, I had the title in mind, yeah. and I just played off of that, basically. Did you have a lot of a lot of archives of other music that you had to try to pull to this one, or this is just a completely new project that mm -hmm. you just have new? Some of the songs are like two years old. It's two years yeah. old, I just released them now. It's and what is it like going in that backpack and just pulling it out and being like, look, like, like, I, like, yeah, I make it better. Like, you gotta read. Nah, read, nah, read, I, never, I never record my songs. I'm a big person on it. I'm about that vibe. I don't even like if I do a song and something like, oh, you should do this this way. I don't even want to go back in the booth. I just make a new song. Yeah. I just make a lot of music. So it's like, if you ain't like it, then let me just make a new song. I ain't yeah. even go and uh, change that because I, I had that you know that feeling when I made it. So. And where are the vibes that you feel when you perform your songs, especially the one with this new with the with the new oh, album out and everything. I'm turned up, man. <laughs> turned up. You know, I took a little EJ before. I be <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. But like the feed, the feedback with the fans, I'm sure has been like, yo, this is some realness, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, but how do you pick off of that EP specifically? What songs you want to perform? Like, how do you know like this song is gonna hit this crowd? Like, depending on the area, I'm going. Okay. If I know a little bit about the area or like the venue, if I know I'm right, I'm I'm going to like let's say I'm going to like cool. the Bronx. I know they real like hip hop out there. Yeah. So let me do some hip hop. Like if I know if I'm going to a place where it might be some younger kids want to turn up, I do one of my turn up songs yeah. or something like that. I just really go on the area and the demographic. Yeah. What's the process of creating, um, you say you're working on some new projects and everything. What's the process of creating new projects after releasing an album previously? Mm. Like, you know, because sometimes some people want to say, I'm just going to keep like pushing this yeah, album. Yeah. But like, what is it like for you to just um, move on to the next project? Just stay ahead of the game and make sure, you know, and then later on reflect. Cause I'm always writing, like I said, like if I'm not writing, I get depressed. Yeah. So like I'm writing every day. So I was like, I got all this music, why not drop this album? Yeah. I keep pushing it, but in a couple months, I'm gonna just drop another album. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cause I feel like a lot of people was just putting out so much music cause people got short attention spans and yeah. they always wanna hear something different. So I feel like why well, wait on it when I got something hot now, I'm gonna just give it to them. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, man. Cash Johnson in the building, yo. All right, man. We don't want to give you too much more than that. Yeah. So I think we might be done. Cash Johnson, tell me they can follow you, book you, and everything, brother. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Jersey Cash 5. That's J E R S E Y C A S H 5. Facebook, Cash Johnson. YouTube, Cash Johnson. 
And we lit, man. You're in here first, man. Cash Johnson, we are Jersey Magazine. Yeah. Jersey turned out entertainment. Entertainment.